Welcome to our review on recycling materials. So the first thing we're going to talk about is something that's actually in the news quite a lot at the moment, which is the problem of plastic. And what we actually found was there's a really good example about highlighting the problems of plastic that occurred several years ago now, which was in the friendly floaties. So this is where a cargo of rubber ducks and other little plastic toys was actually lost off the coast of Hong Kong. So what happened was in the map there, you can see the black line is where the ship was meant to go. And it actually lost this container containing all these plastic toys part way on its journey. And since then, over many years, you can see labeled on that map there, these little plastic toys have been washing up on beaches all around the world as a result of the fact they've been carried on the tides. Now, this does also tell us the fact that these are not breaking down in the environment. So these plastics were lost in 1992 and in 2007, they're still washing up on beaches. And what we're seeing as a result of these plastics that are persisting are quite severe impacts. So on the left there, you can see that's a trigger fish in Egypt that's actually eating a plastic bag because it thinks it's its food source. So the chance of that fish surviving for long are pretty remote, unfortunately. I wasn't actually going to go up and confiscate the plastic from it because trigger fish also have rather large teeth at the front of their faces, which tend to go for snorkelers with masks. So unfortunately, I wasn't willing to sacrifice myself for that one. On the right, you can actually see a bird that was located on a remote island where there's no human inhabitants whatsoever. And all these dead bodies are there with all of that plastic that's killed them. So these plastic items are washing onto their shorelines and they're eating them, which is leading to their death. And then at the bottom, you can see one of these plastic vortexes that we now have in our oceans, where all of this plastic waste that isn't properly treated is just accumulating in these giant, massive areas, which is just plastic upon plastic, which is having massive detrimental effects on the sea life. Hopefully, when you finished using something, you do actually manage to put it into a bin and if it's not being recycled, then that's going to end up in a landfill site. Even though that rubbish is going to a landfill, it's not the best solution for this. So we throw away an awful lot of material that could be recycled. And recycling is actually an incredibly important thing to do because it's going to conserve the raw materials that those items came from. It's going to conserve our energy resources. It reduces the release of harmful substances into the environment and it reduces waste. We won't need these vast landfill sites if we recycled more. When we're considering why we should recycle, then we need to consider a few factors. Firstly, how easy is it to collect and sort the waste? Secondly, the amount and type of byproducts that we are going to release through the recycling process. Thirdly, the amount of energy involved at each stage. And finally, the cost of recycling compared to disposal in either a landfill or by incineration, which is burning. If we consider what actually happens to that stuff that you put into your recycling bins, then the first thing that happens is those materials are collected and sorted. Metals are then taken and melted before they're poured into moulds to produce these things called ingots. The paper is mixed with water, it's cleaned, it's rolled and heated to make new paper. The glass in there is melted and moulded into new objects and the polymers are melted and formed into new objects as well. One thing to bear in mind is that when we talk about plastic, it's not just one type that we treat the same way. So I've given you a table there that if you actually look at plastic materials that you have, then you'll find that little triangle and the number inside tells you what kind of plastic it is. So one of the more common ones that you'll encounter is probably the PET, which is what you generally have in all those drinks bottles. And that is actually widely recycled. Sadly, though, how often do we see people just throwing those bottles into the regular waste bins, which means they're going to landfill and taking an incredibly long time to break down. At the bottom, though, we do have our other plastics, things like our polystyrene, etc. So all of those takeaway containers, 
those ones actually are very hard to recycle so those are things that every time we use them they will end up in landfill because there's no easy way to recycle them so while we can recycle some things we can't recycle everything which is why governments are now looking at putting these bans in place in certain countries on these single-use disposable bottles because it's becoming a massive global problem that we need to try to tackle hopefully at the end of this video you can describe how materials or products are recycled you can explain why recycling may be viable and evaluate factors that affect decisions on recycling and also that you're going to hopefully recycle a few things in your everyday lives as well.